What's the difference between a comparator and an amplifier, and why would you use one or the other? Fundamental difference in configuration of them is that the amplifier has a feedback route from the output to the inverting input of the op amp. It could be overall an inverting amplifier or a non-inverting amplifier. There's all sorts of stuff we can build around it. But fundamentally, it's able to affect its own inputs by what it does with its output. Whereas with a comparator, there's no feedback from the output to the inverting input. Now remember, an op amp, if it has the chance, is going to try to balance these two voltages, the voltage that it observes at this input versus the voltage that it observes at that input. In the case of an amplifier, it has a chance to do that. It can change its output voltage in order to make these match. In the case of a comparator, it can't do that. No matter what happens, all it can do is change its output in response to these two voltages, and nothing it does with its output is going to affect these voltages. In both cases, the amplifier is really following the rule. B out is equal to some, in principle, infinite number, G, uh, times the difference of the two voltages, in plus minus in minus, the difference of the two voltages at these two inputs. Now, when would you use this? If all you want is for the output to either go as positive as possible, typically about plus 4 volts, or as negative as possible, typically about minus 3 volts for our op amp, um, in response to whichever of these is more positive, then you'd use a comparator. It's kind of like an all or nothing thing. So if somebody says, hey, I'd like an LED to be red and on when this voltage exceeds that voltage, uh, perhaps this potentiometer reading, the one that's connected here, exceeds this potentiometer reading, the one that's connected here, that's a good job for a comparator because you just want this LED to go on if this voltage is positive, and that happens when this voltage exceeds that voltage. Nothing partial about it. It's either all or nothing. So that's a job for a comparator. Um, on the other hand, if you wanted to have a positive gain of a factor of four, because the signal that you're getting from a phototransistor over here, for instance, and uh, you're looking at that voltage and it's not big enough, and you'd like to amplify it, you look at this, and, and this is only, um, only getting to be a small voltage in response to the amount of light you're interested in, and you'd like to have a factor of four gain, then you might use an amplifier configuration. In this amplifier configuration, this is a non-inverting amplifier configuration. Um, I'll give it a gain of um, four. Talk about op amps in another, in another panel. Uh, this has a gain of 4, and now if this signal, for instance, goes up a little bit like this and only gets a tenth of a volt in amplitude, um, the output is going to be 4 times bigger, be 4 tenths of a volt in amplitude. So it's a linear amplification. The reason that works is that when there's a little voltage here, say 0.1 volts, the app amp strives to match this voltage to it, and because the voltage that it gets here this voltage divider provides a division by 4. The only way that it can get this voltage up to 0.1 is by making this voltage here 